Hey students, so last time you did research on your favorite author and you filled out a graphic organizer with information about them. Now it is time to turn that information into a slideshow presentation. And I'm going to give you some tips and tricks about how to make the slideshow presentation. So I attached this slideshow to your assignment and I just put the bare bones, the bare minimum information on here because I want you to customize the slideshow and make it your own. So each slide, I kind of put a, a heading of what should be on that slide. And you need to type over what I've typed to add in your information. But before you do that, you may want to select a theme for your slideshow. Right now, it's just boring. It's black and white. Black and white's fine, but just mine's kind of blank and boring. So to make a theme, over here it has themes, and you can scroll through these themes and select the theme that you want to use. If this themes box doesn't pop up automatically, you can also click on theme right here to change the theme. Once you click on a theme, I would keep it on that theme and not keep changing it back and forth once you select a theme because it might screw up if you like typed a bunch of stuff and then you change the theme later. Sometimes it messes up the things you typed a little bit. So I think it's better to pick your theme first and then stick with it after that and then edit your slideshow. So here are some themes. You get to select the one that you like best. So let's say I clicked on this one and it's going to change the font and colors of your slideshow. So it's loading the new theme. So now my new theme is here or say I wanted this to be my theme. So I click on that and it's loading and then it'll have a new background, a new font and new colors. So you get to select your theme and I put Type your author's name here. So what you need to do is you'll need to highlight that. And then you could backspace it and type your author's name. Like if you were doing Dave Pilkey, you type it in. And then it says type your name here. So I'm going to click here. You could either highlight it in the backspace or you can backspace it one letter at a time. And then type your own name. So Mrs. Marchant. But you would type your own name. Like if Candon was doing this, he would type Candon Browning. And then now I get to go to the next slide. So the next slide, let's see, is about is their birthday when they were born, where they were born. And right here it says type where they were born, when they were born and where here. You can insert a picture of the town where they were born or a picture of them. So I'm going to highlight this and backspace it and then you would type when they were born i don't actually know when dave pilkey was born but you will know once you do your research let's say i did my research and i found out he was born on january 5th i guess i should type out january january 5th and let's say i don't know what year he was born let, but let's say he was born in 1985 and then you can insert a picture of him or where the town where he was born or where he grew up. And so then to insert a picture, well, then I would type where they were born. I don't know where he was born. You will find out when you search. Let's say he was born in like Salt Lake City, Utah. He was, I, I kind of doubt he was, but you will find out where they were born. And then you get to insert a picture. So to insert a picture, you can click insert, image, and then search the web. And then on the side here, a thing will pop up to search for pictures. So now I'm going to search for Dave Pilkey. And there's a bunch of pictures that I could use. So let's say I wanted to use this picture. So then I click on that picture and there's a little check mark right there of the picture I clicked on. Then you click insert. And now it's going to create the image on this slide. It creates the image on the slide that you are on when you click say insert. 
and I want to make it smaller. So to make pictures smaller, you drag your mouse to the top corners and see how it turns. My mouse kind of turns into an arrow, two-way arrow. Then I can make it smaller and I can drag it around. When the mouse has the four-way arrows, you can drag it around. And let's say I wanted to make it bigger, you can make it bigger. If you just only drag one of the sides, it makes the picture kind of a weird shape. See how I do this and it kind of makes it stretched out. I wouldn't drag just one side. I would just drag the corner. So the corner arrows like this, because that makes both sides get bigger so it doesn't get stretched out or weird. And let's say I wanted to add a picture of the city. So I'm gonna unclick this picture so it's not clicked on it anymore. And then I'm going to do insert image, search the web. And then I would search the city where he was born. If the city were Salt Lake City, I would search that. And then my options come up. And when I find one that I like, let's say I like this one, then I click on it. There's a little check mark there. And then I can click Insert. It's creating the image. And that's way too big. So I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm going to drag it over here. OK, perfect. Now I'm going to go to my next slide. And the next slide is their hometown, either where they were they grew up or where they live now. So again, you don't you don't need to leave this here because I typed this just to give you an idea of what to type on the slide. So I would backspace what I typed. So click and then backspace what I typed and type in your information. And then you can insert a picture of where they grew up or a picture of them or both. And then you go to the next slide and you um, type their well-known books and insert a picture of their books. And then you go to, hang on, your personal favorite book of theirs. If you want to go to the slides, you can also scroll up and down on this. You type about your favorite book of theirs and what it's about and insert a picture of it. And then you can go to inspiration. What inspired your author? How did they get the idea for their books or what made them want to become an author? You can type about it there. You could add a picture of them or something related to what you typed. And then next slide, fun fact. So I want you to type a fun fact about them. And then you could insert a thick picture related to that fun fact or a picture of the author. And then fun fact number two, another fun fact about them. And you can insert a picture related to that. Fun fact number three, you can insert a picture about another fun fact. And then the last slide is optional. If you don't want to do this, you can right click on the slide and click on delete if you don't want this slide in there. The other slides I want you to leave in there, but this one you can delete if you don't want to do it. But if you do want to do it, this one is you can insert a video of an interview with them. So backspace what I typed here and then, hang on. So I'm gonna highlight this and click backspace. And then you can insert a video of them. Like if you watched a good video online, you can insert that. So you could do insert a video. And then it's going to pull up a thing uh, to find a video to insert. And you can search for the video on YouTube if you found it on YouTube already and your parents are okay with you searching on YouTube. You can add it by the URL so you copy and paste the thing up here from the video. Or if you saved a video on Google Drive, you can click on My Drive and put it in. So let's say I wanted to search for my video. Whoops, I spelled Pilky wrong. We'll see what happens. OK, let me put the K back in. But it still came up with options. So now it's pulling up videos that I could insert. Like he even has a how to draw video you could insert. Or like we watched this part of this in class, like the talk with Dave Pilkey where he talks about his dyslexia and his ADHD. So I'm going to click on that one and say select. And now it's creating the video.
And the video, you can resize and move around just like you can with pictures. So there we go. There's the video. And now I'm going to move it down a little bit so it's not covering up the title. And there we have it. And there's my slideshow. And if you want to look at your slideshow in a present mode, like if you want to present this to your family and teach them about your author, you can click present right here. If we were in class, I would have you present this to the class. But unfortunately, we don't have that option, but you could do a presentation to your family. In fact, I would love that if you could pr present this to your family and teach them about it and practice speaking aloud to people. So click present and then it's loading. And it's going to show it full screen, the slideshow full screen. And then as it is full screen, you can click through the slides to present it to your family. It started on slide 10. So if I want to start on slide one, I can click on slides and click slide one. And then I would do a presentation to my family and say this slideshow or presentation is about Dave Pilkey and facts I learned about my favorite author. And then you can click to the next slide and click to the next slide. This is how I teach you sometimes is I'll make a slideshow and pre present it to you on the board. So then to get out of this, you can click on the slide and then click exit if you don't want it to be full screen anymore. And then it goes back to this. Another kind of cool thing you could add to slides if you want, this is optional, you don't have to do this, but is transitions. So when it go, when you click between slides in your presentation, you can add a transition to make it like fade in or fade out or slide in or slide out in cool ways. So to add a transition, you can click change transition. And right now it has no transition. If I want to add a transition, I can click on one of these options right here. So let's say I want it to dissolve and you can click play to see what that looks like. So this is how it would come up. Or say you wanted it to, uh, let's see. Oh, I need to click stop here. It's not letting me do another one. Okay, so let's say you wanted it to slide in from the right. So then you would click play. And then when you're presenting, it'll go like this when you're clicking from slide to slide. And if you want that to, and then I'm gonna click stop again because it was just showing you what it'll look like. If you want that to go from all to all slides, you can click apply to all slides. Or if you wanna put a different transition on each slide, you can click on the next slide. And right now this one has none. And let's say I wanted it to slide from the right. And then I can click apply to all slides. So now when I go to present it, the slides are going to slide in in a cool way. Instead of just going next to next to next, it's going to slide in in a cool way. So let's see how this goes. So it's loading and then we'll get to see how the slides slide in when I click next. Let's see if it works. Yep, it slid over. Or next, it slid over again, it slid over again. So it's just a cool way to transition between slides. And you could add that into your slideshow if you would like. You don't have to, but it is an option. Anyway, those are some tips and tricks about how to do your slideshow for your author. There's lots of other things you can customize with slideshows and you're welcome to experiment and try things out on your own. And if you're getting stuck or have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to help you. And good luck with your slideshows. I'm excited to see how they turn out.